desert now. Here I come. Uh, hello again. Thanks for helping out with those underdressed scientists. I can't believe the enemies heard explore all other paths as exploring other paints. <laughs> I know that's not funny, but <laughs> it's really funny. Anyway, I'm just glad I don't have to work with my underpants. Uh, and it's because you open everyone's eyes to the naked truth. Huh. Oh. Hello again, lured back by a craving for my cuisine, I presume? Captain Torrance's squad is now leading a dangerous and important strike. Mind that your curiosity doesn't get you involved. I am going there. Ah. A callous pen is down the road from here. The squad's mission is to strike at the monsters that have taken over it. <coughs> it was your appetite that brought you here, yes? Has some of this, it's one of my specialties. Sneaky fragrant mushroom salt day. Okay. I've heard they're dealing with some troublesome foes. I can only pray they'll be alright. Hang on, can I. Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, stop, stop. Ah. <laughs> South Cali Stable, South Cali Lake. <laughs> well, if it isn't Link, you came to our aid again. I'm so happy and also incredibly grateful. Ooh. As you can see, we're in the midst of preparing to attack the monsters who've dug it up, dug it up ahead. They must be wiped out. Just like last time, we approach the fiend's stronghold, then launch our attack when the moment's right. If you are so inclined, Link, perhaps we can fight together once again and drive out those hideous monsters. Sure. <laughs> Get out of here, horse. Oh, the horse is fighting. I'm just a bit afraid of hitting so close to the horse. So alive. No! Ah. If I was going to hit it with everything, I would, I'd hope for the loot you won. Everyone fought so bravely. Thank you for the help, Link. If you don't mind, can I have a moment of your time? I can't thank you enough for doing so much on our behalf. Sometimes it feels like you're the real monster control crew. I am. I'm sorry if this has been a burden for you. Here, please take this as a token of my appreciation for everything you've done. I think I'm giving the team a bit of a break. And the blood moon, I'm sure you've noticed it. When the sky turns crimson, the monsters rise up from the depths of the underworld. Uh, we should all rest when we can, so we have the energy to fight these endless battles. Ah, so you are aware they will return. Link, if you were, uh, if you were by our side, I'm sure it'd be safe. But I probably shouldn't burden you like that. With that, it's time for me to go. I hope you meet it on the battlefield again someday. Ah. Ah. 
May the goddess Hylia always protect you, brave swordsman. Um, but now you're going anywhere? Specifically. Just your places? I thought you would go to the clue or something. Hmm. You will be able to dive back up here. I like to get the loot down there. But I don't want to climb it all back. Ah. What was that? Uh. Gnarled wooden stick. A very swingable stick made by honing a dry branch to the proper thickness and length. Its attack power is much greater than that of a normal stick. Oh, I thought I could stay in here. Come on, stay there. <sighs> Okay, that's easy. Oh, come on. So close. I don't think so. Yes! Hey! Let's go. Hmm. Let's see what's up here. Now there, there aren't any gloom, any malice. Oh. Or any. Ah, yeah. That's great. Oh. Oh, we can check inside now. Damn it. That's too large. Uh, I hope this isn't just like a cave. Call said that the ruins cave. Come on, this should be the entrance, right? I want it just to be ruins. The whole citadel. <laughs> Close the bright cap. A whole roasted bright cap, sure, it loses its bioluminescence enzymes, but it's softer and easier to chew. Guard sword stick. Can I take a picture of the one there? Oh, I can't. Great. I didn't want to break it so soon since I bought it from Coco, but. Yeah, you. You won't go there, will you? Oh, you did. Yep. 
soldier's broadsword halberd. I can't be close to it. But I still think I should be able to climb the ruins all the way up there. This could very well be a mini dungeon. Ooh! Iron box. Huh. Expected more. They done. Mm. I didn't expect so much greenery. Oh, yeah, I can expect that. That kind of thing. Let's try to actually fight you. Oh. No, that wasn't so strong. Oh. Damn it. Mm, that's exactly how many I needed. Jump! Trying to jump. Okay, this isn't that bad. The first one scared me more. The first one? No. On this description, it seems to be the same one. Ah, it also has the stone on its forehead. I don't know if I noticed that before. still don't have 18 that's decent okay i'm gonna use this i i have another hmm. Hmm. oh dragon oh i gotta see what's written here hmm. it has same amount of letters as kabora Gloom Spear. The spear whose ominous appearance strikes fear into hearts. It says to cause its bearer a part of their soul because its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wither. Hmm. Royal Guard Spear. A prototype spear wielded by knights. It's made from a special metal with low durability. But which wields a massive destructive power just before it breaks. Mm.
a prone pathway. I think this will do. Yeah. Strong on his shield. Where's the other one? Ah, there. Now that was all. Be over there, whatever I need. Damn, it's suicide. I won't be able to defeat it, not yet. Uh, here, maybe. This armor. Legend has it, this armor was belonged to the hero of a world in which the moon threatened to fall. When you wear it, you feel a fierce godlike power flow through you. Attack up. Ah, attack up is basically like the barbarian suit, then. That's nice. Get it sometimes like a single arrow that wasn't even in its face kills it kills it instantly. And when I blast it off the wall with a cannon, it's fine. Mm, or 
of shoot. was so heavy we made a hole in the ground there this seems should be higher oh a catalyzing rest of where the other one was underground fortress okay what else we have here oh a black lizalfus black bokoblin 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 blue boss bokoblin okay Like Lizalfos, a quick witted lizard like species of monster found all over Hyrule, their sharpened horn cuts like a knife. So be cautious even if they are not carrying a weapon. They are among the most dangerous Lizalfos with high stamina. Let's see. Let's see. Because I don't think the other one will kill it instantly. So I want to check if this one will be able to. will hurt me. When it's a backstab instead of a regular attack. Yeah, it hurts me. It hurts me, even in a sneak attack. Black Lizalfo's horn. A blade like blade like uh, serrated horn attached to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. Or cooked with a creature to brew an elixir. Follow the boss of problem. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 
Come on, you noble. I tried to. Yeah, and so what was the point of fighting them all? Shouldn't there be a chest around? Come on, shouldn't there be at least one? Mm. Ah, it's past the stable. Okay, I'm going to the stable first then. My itch deck. Oh, the shrine brings us improvised ancient evil. Outside equipment for building at this point. I don't know if this was the same text for the other one. Proving grounds, the hunt. Am I supposed to just <laughs> you're trying to fight that? Yeah, but I, I, I noticed now that I should have. Oh, you killed already. Hang on, this one's different, isn't it? No, hang on, the other was a homing cart as well. No, the, the other was falling because of the head, wasn't it? Ah, you're just looking. There, the symbols. Oh! Okay, extremely dangerous. Okay, that was cool. They're coming up your turns. Okay, turn that thing down. It's suicide to lift that around. A laser surge. That's cool. Tree spear. The spear is with the sun eye. Okay. Many opportunities to use that. Check the stable first. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, I'm not going there now. Let's just make a test. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll check if you spawn here. Prophecy. You talk to the Kukos? Made so messed up that some of them eat birds if they can speak to birds. Bone Barrow Spear, Spear for throwing the gate deep. Okay, uh, kind of anything drop. Oh, it didn't break, it got launched again. Everyone stop me. What's up? What? Oh. I found this art deposit, so I'm gonna smash it and get the gems inside. The rings make my hands all slippery, so I can't get a good grip, otherwise this rock would be dust by now. Man, it's so interesting, almost everybody has a dialogue for when it's raining. Uh, what's with that look? You don't think I can do it? Fine then, let's make it interesting. If you can break this art deposit in one strike, I'll give you all the gems that come out. So step up. If you got the guts. I'm pretty confident in my skill, but with my sword, I can't even make a dent. There's no way a nobody like you can break it in one strike. I never actually tried. I thought if I give enough hits with a sword, I could break it. But maybe I don't. Okay, I just have to use this a two handed. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, how, how? I was joking when I said to break in one go. I came up sharp because I was only using my arm muscles, but you <laughs> used your b brain muscles. Now I, all I can do is admit that you won't. Congratulations, that was a perfect strike. The gems are yours, like we agreed, and you inspire me to get more creative with my weapon designs. Hmm, I'm curious. Could I break with two hits and then she take that and still complete the quest? Oh. Uh, maybe I'll try building a weapon like yours for myself, but I'm kind of bad at that crafty stuff. Plus, isn't it hard to remove something once you've attached it? It is hard, mm -hmm. right? I figured it'd be. And I'd be really annoyed if I broke something while trying to remove it. Um, that's right. There's a shop called Break It Up, Break Apart, in Terrytown. Ah, that's just east of here. They can apparently use their master craftsmanship to detach anything from anything. Uh, like they were never attached. You give me my point. I okay, and a reward. Oh, it looks like I got some points saved up, Link. Let's get rewards, so we'll go. Ledger, no, once again, welcome, no. I'm good. Almost forgot, have you stopped by this table to the northeast? Rumor has it, the horse god has moved to the neck of the woods. I've heard that he's very powerful, he can even resurrect a horse. Isn't it amazing? I bet anyone who appreciates horses would be happy to have him around. Uh, I wish he'd settle a little closer to our stable. Uh, the ledger. Receive reward. Yeah. Uh, yes, we write with you. Oh. Like to get your pony points rewards, right? Oh. And reward for 16. You can now enjoy our main restyling service. This will let you change the looks of your horse's mane. Treat your favorite steed to a new hairdo. Save up just four more points, Ooh. or you'll be able to register one additional horse. Good. We appreciate your patronage. Good. Uh, let's see you guys. Oh, the rumor beast. Ah. Of course. Oh, that's a nice cap. 
Tila. Uh, what's the lucky clover because it's covering? Uh, what's the news? Oh. Oh, there is an update on the Iga napping of Princess Zelda, start from earlier. Sources now state that the incident at the Olympic stable was an Iga pl claim plot to appear to kidnap the princess. I have read somewhere that the Iga clan are really good at disguising themselves, but an Iga disguised as the princess, then pretending they being kidnapped? Jeez, they're a really strange bunch. But, but that means the prince is still missing. I hope she's okay. Uh, oh, it's really. I was sorry. Ah. What was this? Fashion fixation in Hatero Village. Interesting. Word has reached this paper that the celebrated fashion designer Sisi has returned to her home in Hatero Village. Hatero Village is on the eastern edge of the Kluda. It's a real hike to get there, but it is known as a sort of holy land for fashion. I should really visit someday. Mm. Oh, is a oh, was there a shop nearby that takes apart stuff to get our weapons and shoots and stuff? I think it's in third town. They say it's east of here. Maybe I'll head that way at some point. Oh, just like that. Ah. Oh, hello. Welcome to South Calais Table. Sorry, I was lost in thought here. I was wondering why so many. People are so interested in that. The beast is the stuff of rumors. It is apparently found in the south. Mm -hmm. uh, in, to the south of here or really in the south? Mm, a huge tusked creature. It's got to be made up, right? Nobody in Akala has ever seen its footprints, let alone the thing itself. Mm -hmm. My little sister Glima won't stop talking about that so called Kuko Oracle on the hill behind the stable. I don't buy it personally. There's no way a Kuko can talk. <sighs> Why is everybody so quick to believe the silliest things? Ah. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time with them gossiping. I'd better get back to work. Take it easy. Mm. Oh, that's Klima. Uh, I think she's a little bigger. They're all clucking cuckoo. What's up, Peter? Hey! They to see you again. Just light it. Ah! Got the Get it to buy. What do have? Yeah. Oh. For every sun. Quick and quality. Blink. And we're done. Dream homes. The envy of every sun. Dream homes. Oh, did you hear me singing? How embarrassing. I figured it was so late, no one would be around. Ah. The jingle's been stuck in my head ever since I heard the Hudson Construction started making dream homes. Someday, I hope I can make the trip east to Tarrytown and order a dream home of my own. Meeting that special someone, settling down in a nice big house and growing great together, it's all I ever wanted. Ah. I'm smiling, just imagining it. Of course, before I buy a home, I'll need to figure out the special summon part of the equation. I told Papa to put up a picture of the Unity Bell for good luck in my dating life. I wonder if he's done it. Unity Bell? There was a bell at the center of Terry Town. Okay, there was a wedding there. He's my father, shouldn't he be doing his best to help me find a partner who has kind eyes and knows how to bake? He has kind of eyes. He knows how to bake. Uh, let me see. It's on here. I think that's the closest I've seen you to civilization. Uh, it's not really good to read, but okay. Oh, no, no. Let's see. Okay, nice. Hmm, 
Tear Town to Upland Zorana, Lanero Wetlands. Okay, let's check them well and then we'll talk to them. One, two, three. Ah, oh, she's calling <laughs> chips. Mm, I could have sworn I heard a cuckoo crying out in the distance. Huh? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I was calling the ship and it ended up dozing off. Now, welcome to the South Bacal Stable. <laughs> Just kidding, a bit of ship humor for you. The place you're at is actually called South Bacal Stable. Since we've always had so many ship here, some visitors started calling us the ship stable. So I thought, why not embrace it? And I started taking extra good care of the ship. <laughs> Before I knew it, even more show up. It was like a whole invasion. But no complaints from me. I think they are just adorable. Uh... Sadly, while I was busy making this place an uh, utopia, our cuckoo went missing. Uh... Oh. The poor sweet bird always hated being alone. She wouldn't lay eggs unless one of us was nearby. I hate to think how scared and lonely she must be. Sometimes I swear I heard a sad squawking sound and it wakes me up. Uh, th but that must be a dream. Hmm. Oh, I found it. Oh, how do I bring you up there? There, you're not alone. Can you lay an egg? How do I take you up there? Oh, you're coming back here? Huh. This horrible Miss Cook, she was hate being alone. She only asked when she was by herself, so I made up with her every day. I was so broke by the ship, slipped my mind, and now just wish I had a friend to keep her company, so I just had to throw another cuckoo down there. Let me see if this will be part of the quest. Hmm. Yo! Hey, look at you, partner, feeling around for leads after dark. You remind me of me. It's not dark anymore. Okay. Ah. How about it? Tell me you've got something we can work with. No? I got nothing either, not a chip, not a warble. Even if I strain the old ear holes, no sir, not the slightest peep. Mm. So, what to do when our leads go quiet and luck runs out? I suppose we got one last resort, a prophecy. A prophecy? Oh. oh yes, it's come to that. Good thing there's one heck of a cuckoo around here. That uh, speaks prophecy. I mean, we know it's hard to believe, but you've got to wonder. Ah, look at that tree there. Uh, the one way up on the hill. They say folk are lining up to hear those prophecies every day, hoping to have their fortune told. Ah, and those some people over there. Hmm. I know what you're thinking, seasoned reporters like me hoping to get a lead from actual poultry. Well, hear me out, those that flock up there for their fortunes, they might know the real story here. Interview them. Okay, but before checking with the prophecy Google, I'd like to talk to to the girl. Okay, what about Mr. Kubo? Shall I me alone? Okay, same thing. Ah, uh, the corks back there. comes all the way here. What's up? Hi. Uh, welcome to the South Cal Stable. Brr. Do you like horses? I used to like bugs when I was little, but now I like horses the best. I'm practicing so I can be a horsey when I grow up. Huh? Yeah. Hey mister, 
Uh, did you come to hear the all clucking cuckoo's prophecies? I came to ask if I'm gonna be a horsey when I grow up, but since the all clucking cuckoo is so popular, they'll wait super long. Ooh. Hey there, fella. So, checking out my fancy duds, a bad stylish, right? I'm a little late to fashion and all that, but my eyes are wide open now. Hmm. I was heading to heading east for Terry Town since I heard celebrity designer CC was influenced by someone there. Oh, the Gerudo. Uh, I forgot her name. Something, something. Uh, but when I heard about the Oracle here, I had to stop by and see for myself if it was the real deal. And buddy, it's real as can be. Here's the process I got. On a remote island to the northeast, those will find great fortune. Okay, the island, square island. Their town will have to wait. I have to I have my islands to go to. Just hope great fortune means a treasure trove of clothes. Lonely. Uh, should I really ask about that? No, maybe not. But then again, uh, oh. are you here for a prophecy from the Oculucking Cuckoo? Get ready for your life to change. They say the cuckoo's words will always come true. <sighs> Actually, do you want to take my place in line? I have a lot of questions that I need time to sort out which to ask. Really, you'll be doing me a favor. Go ahead. Let me question why I need a bit of time in order now. Don't worry about me, you go ahead. Talk. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Ah, you really speak. Thy name, what is thy name? I see, see. Your name's. You are Link. And you are searching for someone. Uh, yes, Princess Zelda. Uh, I know all. And what I know is that those will face trials that will reveal much to you. So, will they take these trials? I'll try. Very well. The first trial is... Get the top of the stable's head within the time limit. Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself. Click, click. Uh. I'll try something, I don't know to work. Let's go to the center as I can. Finished. Good job with that trial. I'd say I'm impressed, but I already knew that was going to happen. So, why the trial? Uh, though, yes, though. Ready to face the next trial. Only if you overcome it, though, we'll find what those seek. You know, I will overcome it already. So, are we going to try it or what? I'll try it. Very well. The second trial is... Bring three logs here within the trial time limit. Okay. Lots of trees around here. Any of them will do the job. Just do whatever it takes to get them here. Ready yourself. Something that cuts, they'll have to do. Yeah. 
good. I was going to rewind it. It's faster. You finished? Phil, you tired yet? What? You've got to be worn out. Well, it's been entertaining. So naive, so trusting. I can't believe you fell for this. A talking Coco, ridiculous. Uh, now that you are worn out, we've got you right where we want you, everyone. Get him, you finished the job. Oh, I thought you were using a Kuko. No, you were disguised as a... Wow, they have some really next level magic. Speaking storage. <laughs> Oh, the whole sword broke. Mm, did I kill another one? We'll let it off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back next time, be prepared. Hey, there's my partner. Ah. I was just giving a good long thing to the oak looking cuckoo situation when I saw everyone running around the tree here. So what's the story, kid? Hmm, mm, I see. Well, I had a suspicion that a cuckoo couldn't yet to save its life, but I didn't suspect it was this was an eager clan trap. Those chumps really knew how to lure us in by mentioning Princess Zelda. Guess we walked right into that one. Oh. But at least this will make one heck of a newspaper story. All those who put their faith in that cuckoo's prophecies. People need to know the truth or else they'll fall for more of these lies in the future. Oracles might tell feathers. Hmm. Well... There are people who have prophecies in this universe, so we've worked together to chase seven of the stories related to Princess Zelda. As a special partner, Trace made the right call bringing you on. Go on and this turn the sack. Oops, I almost forgot, partner. Trace has been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. Ah! And we get a lot of you, giving us a big scoop, and those eager adults are healthy clobbering, all in the same day. Not bad for this work, you keep that up, and I'll have no choice but to keep you on as my partner for a long, long time. But enough crawling, uh, if I want to meet my deadline, I better get back to the office and start writing this up. See you, kid. Sapa! So long. That was cool. stuff Damn it. I shouldn't have shot it Damn, I will have to wait for my whole battery to fill up Royal Halberd, although now decayed, this spear was once given to knights who guarded critical areas of her castle. It enables a powerful flurry rush during a perfect dodge. What? 
Let me guess, I need that. Oh, you're going away? He flew away. So, so. Uh, we met a, at another Skyfield Tower, didn't we? A dash here is faster than I could. Uh, it looks like you are pretty fast too. Uh. Did you come to see the Skyview Tower? I hate to say it, but things are a bit of a mess right now. Mess? Uh. Mm. The flame monster took the terminal from the Skyview Tower. Ha! Good grief. That sticky cloud terror has the habit of stealing things. I'll never fix the Skyview Tower at this rate. Oh. That's falling a bit far. But that will work. I was thinking about climbing or wasting a spring. That's better. I don't really want to explore the area now. Oh. Mister, you got the tower's terminal back? Let me install it in the Skyview Tower, no time to waste. <laughs> I'll take this and done. There, that's not going anywhere, even if the monster is real determined. Oh. I could have done it without you, I really appreciate it. Ah. Thank you, that really helped me out. Now I think I'll squeeze in a break just for a while. Okay, oh yeah, that. map oh. Hmm. oh yeah let's Let's do the cook. Oh, eggs. Just that? 
Alright. Maybe with quite some work we could get enough materials down there, trap the poop inside and then lift it up here. But I don't think it's gonna do anything. So I heard a cuckoo crying out in the distance. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, it's got the sheep. No, this is same. Sarah's reason the place could be missing. Maybe this cock sounds happier. I know I probably dreamed all of it, but it comforts me to think that whatever she is, she's not alone anymore. She isn't. Shouldn't this be a quest? Okay, you guys okay? Oh, it just sank? I thought it would fly off like in Ocarina of Time. Hey. No, there's a stable northeast palace. Oh, there's so called horse god around there who said to be quite powerful. I'm very fast nicely, he watched over my beloved cook for me. I'm going to go there in exchange I get and ask him. Cooks aren't horses obviously, but they're both animals, so I'm sure he can still help, right? Hey mister, did you get a prophecy? I really wanted to talk to the little cuckoo who gives prophecies. I was going to ask if I'm gonna be a horsey when I grow up. But it wasn't there. Weird. That's okay. I know if I practice, I'll become a horse eventually. If I was a horse, I better go talk to Cuckoos. Hmm. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> You're moving me. They must be able to see me. Be gentle, okay? Huh. Where your people trying to someone and got separated? You again couldn't uh, couldn't get enough of my Melifluous voice. Huh? Oh. I love my horse, but she's not what you call fast. Uh, you think the god of horses could make her run a little quicker? Mm, can I make that to my horse now? Anyway, more importantly, I'm open for business. Oh. You want to buy something? Let's see. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, where's your friend? Over there. There. 